Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Thursday night. I almost called it Friday night. Thursday night at the Art House Studio. My name is Karen Ellis, and true to uh, my Ustream... Um, Oh, see, I can't even think right on the spot. And that's what happens when you press record. <laughs> then all of a sudden, all of the good ideas just kind of escape you. Anyway, true to what we do here at the studio on a Thursday night, it's whatever's kind of on my desk is what I do for you guys. We just kind of play and do. And I have some gelatos on my desk and some new stamps from Stampendous. Here it is right here. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is a cling stamp, of course, very fun doodly leaves. And it also comes with a little stencil. A stencil, and there's the masks of it too. All the insides are here too that I pulled out, and I hope that I didn't lose them because they are not Karenized yet, so they're not full of paint. Oh, goodness. Well, I'll find them in a minute. But it's all good. So I did this technique with... Um, the Faber Castell gelatos not too long ago. I am going to color the stamp, stamp it with a watercolor effect, but I am also going to go ahead further and uh, put some in a mini mister, spray through the stencil, and um, go from there too, kind of do some dotty things. So this is a sample for what I am doing at Scrap Fest in a couple weeks in Richmond Hill. So I needed to get these done. So I thought I can share them with you. And if you are in Ontario and in and around the Richmond Hill area on the 26th or 27th, whatever the Saturday is of September, I hope you consider coming down to Scrap Fest and uh, seeing us in the marketplace. I will be there with the Canadian Scrapbooker Magazine doing this technique and others and uh, meeting everybody and having a good time, right? It's all good. So we just play. You like that. I like that too. All right, so first of all, I have the stamp that goes with the stamp set and the stencil. Here we go. I am going to place the stencil, and I know it is incredibly clear because it's not got paint on it yet. But I am going to put this on a piece of 4x4 four four card. Now, this is Can uh, Canada Scrapbookers, Canadian Scrapbookers Super Stock. This is the stuff that Kathy Allen uses in her stamping projects. It is super smooth. Um, I'm trying to think out what the weight is. Uh, definitely more than 140. I would say it's more like a 160 pound, but I have to double check that. Uh, but it's super heavy, super easy, great for card making, great for inking up, souping up. So I'm going to stamp on it with the gelatos and go from there. It's super absorbent. It's fabulous. So I'm just going to place that stencil on top of, and I know it's really white, but hopefully we'll get some going here. What I have done is I've taken one of the new gelato colors. This one is Black Cherry. It's from their new uh, steampunk line. So new four colors that came out. Gelatos. Sorry, I'm trying to get it so it doesn't. Da, da, da. Black Cherry. And I kind of took a little knife, a little palette knife, and chiseled off a little bit of the end of the gelato and put it inside of my mini mister and then filled it with water and then shook it. Just shook it like so to make a gelato mist spray. Now this is not going to be like a dilution spray or a color wash spray or tattered angels or anything else that you have because it is a much softer mist. Okay, but it is another way that you can use your gelatos, which is cool. And that's one of the things I wanted to show in this make and take that I'm doing at Scrap Fest. So we are mixing it up. Ding, 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 ding. And I am going to spray it. Hopefully this didn't clog because I didn't test it again and it was sitting on its end. If you can store your mini misters upright, do it, especially if you have stuff in it. There we go. I'm just going to spray. Blink, 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 blink. So it is really soft. Can you see how soft it is just in the picture? I am going to remove my stencil. See? But it's super pretty. You, um, I do find with when I use the gelatos, because sometimes there's chunkies, I do get a little bit more of a blotchy than a fine mist like you're going to get in the color washes or the dilution sprays. But it is super fun. And I totally like it. That's a cute little stencil image. Yeah, it's very pretty. Um, have you been doing that with your gelatos? How many of you have gelatos out there? 
All right, so I'm just gonna wipe this part off just so I don't get everything everywhere. <laughs> I do have this lovely little stamp pad. This is quarter inch foam that I use. It's just like fun foam, but extra thick. This is what I use when I stamp because I like the image I get when I stamp on something um, like this, a nice foam image. So I'm gonna put that down and place my card right on top of it so that I can stamp on it. Here is the maple leaf that's in there. There we go. You have to, Jillian says she has gelatos and she doesn't often use them. You need to pull them out, baby. They're awesome. You have gelatos, but I've never misted with them. There's something else you can do then. Very fun. You never even, see, bring, dig them out. Anyway, so the, we're gonna use this uh, fabulous stamp from Stampendous. I do have, again, the gelatos. This is from their new line. I thought these were wonderful fall colors. Um, black cherry is one of them. So it was black cherry, uh, iced coffee, iced chai, and cinnamon. See if I can put that in the, oh, I don't have the lid. All the colors are, are on the lids, so if, in case you didn't know. There you go. Yeah, they're beautiful. They love their fall colors. They call them steampunk, I call them fall, whatever. <laughs> I think they work great with leaves. So here's the tip that I'm gonna give you as I will give everybody at Scrap Fest. Um, the darker of the colors, this black cherry I absolutely adore because I love the purple. Um, the iced coffee is very good for as well. I recommend that you use the darker colors around the outside of the image and then the lighter colors just to highlight on the inside. You can, it makes you hungry. <laughs> so you can just literally color right on the stamp, okay? So I've got, I'm gonna put, make sure that it's pretty much all the way around. Gonna grab that iced coffee. It's the other one I said I like around the outside edges. Coloring in. And then I will take the cinnamon and the iced chai. The iced ones in this package are metallic, just so you know. So it gives them a nice little shimmer. But I'll use those on the insides. See, like I'm like rambling here. Color, 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 much like my crazy coloring with the Crayolas last week, but you know, this is going to work better. <laughs> okay. So then I'm going to take, I just have a little misting bottle here with some water in it. Give it a spritz. That might be too much, but that's okay. I don't really care. <laughs> it's a sample. And I'm going to stamp it right on top of my card. So this will give a little watercolor stamped look. Okay. You see that there? Isn't that fun? There it is. Loving this stamp. From here, what I would do typically is take a water brush, and it was right here beside me, and what did I do with it? Here it is. But I need a little bit more water in my water brush. This is one of the Koi water brushes. There we go. I love using a water brush uh, for doing stuff like this. It's, it's much easier to uh, manipulate. All right, so what I do is I just kind of take it and I blend in what's here. Now, here's something that you should keep in mind when you're using metallic gelatos. They don't blend as much as the other colors do. The pigment is a little bit harder to to blend. So I'm going to want to do some ice chai. So I'm just going to take my water brush and it's so it's a wet brush and I'm right the top of the gelato and go in with them and and blend. I want to accentuate these lines. Now I'm going to show you a little bit but by doing it lightly I'm, I'm not disturbing, I'm not disturbing that stamped image, those doodles that are inside the image. There we go. You see that? Fun. Yeah, I'm liking. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stamp it on this side now. So 
So we're going to do a take two. I might as well just use the same stamp because it's already on my little block here. And I don't want to use that because remember I said use the darker colors along the outside edges. So I'm going to do that. Here's the coffee. Here is the black cherry, which I think I'm going to end up using a lot of because I love this color. And then I'm going to take my water bottle. Ah, isn't it fun, Phoebe? Like, it's totally fun. And give it a little spritz. And I'm going to go on this side, and I think perhaps... Oh, uh oh, I hope I didn't lose you there. Good, I didn't lose you. You just timed out on my screen. And I'm just wondering if I can get a little bit more. If I turn it on this side, perhaps I will. A little bit of an image. Let's go for it. Not much there. That's okay. So now I'm going to take my water brush. Why dark around the outside edges? Just for definition. Yes, Barb. You will know. I will show you um, without the dark. I will show you the difference. So I'm just going to use this around here. Blend that in a little bit. I'm not going all the way to the middle because I don't want to color in the whole thing. I just want to define it a little bit. I'm going to grab a little bit more of that ice chai. I think these are gorgeous colors. And again, the, the metallic jottles are beautiful. They do blend, but it's a little bit more tricky than the regular colors, especially on this paper. This is not a watercolor paper. It will absorb. It will do some fun things with it, but it is not, um, it doesn't move the same way a watercolor paper would. Why I like using this one, because I did try it on a, on a watercolor paper as well, but um, this, because this paper is so stamp friendly, it is super smooth. Here it is, girls. It is super smooth, easy to stamp on. You're not going to get any distortion from the stamp. And I found that more important than having the blendability of the gelatos, especially when I can manipulate it with my um, brushes. It's totally fabulous. Easy peasy. Look at that. Look how stunning that is for fall. Okay. I do have um, one other thing I want to do with... Uh, this particular make and take, and that is to ink my edges. And um, I'm not sure if I did this with you guys last time I was working with gelatos or not, but I'm going to take I'm going to take that iced chai because that was that softer image that I had on the inside, and I'm just going to take the gelato and run it around the outside edge of my paper. Here we go. Bathroom We don't care. And that particular set comes with this little foamy thing. <laughs> that's what, that's the technical term, foamy thing. <laughs> it's a little sponge. Um, I would imagine that um, um, a blending tool, if you have one in your stash for the uh, arc, for the uh, distress inks, would work as, just equally as well. Your finger will work as well. As you can see, I have used my fingers all day today. So all is good, but I'm gonna take what what was in that package just because, as I say, it was there. So you, this is how you use it. You use it to smudge. I like to use it on my edges. So I am literally blending like I would a distress ink, but I'm doing that with the gelatos and inking my edges so that I can place it on the card and it'll be nicely framed. So let me see. I do have a white card here just so that you can see it. Can you see the inked edges that way? So all I'm going to do now is put this on some pop dots, maybe tie a little bit of raffia around it, and call that a sample for what we will do at Scrap Fest. I see a question here. On that cardstock, will the gelatos continue to reactivate if you go over it with other products like sprays? Very good question, Barb. Um, yes, in the sense that it is a water-soluble, water-reactive, thing. It is a watercolor medium. So what you can do if you don't want it to react, you could literally put 
um, some gel medium over top of it to seal it. Okay, and what I like to do with mine is I will put, bring out my jelly plate, put some gel medium on top of my jelly plate, and then take my piece that I was working on and press it firmly into the jelly with the medium on it. And when you take it off, you'll notice it's, it'll be completely covered and let that dry and then you can go from there. Um, it's just like any other watercolor. It's not going to be mix quite like a, it's not going to reactivate quite like a, a spray ink would, but if you put some pressure and water on it, it will activate. Like if I go in here with some water, it's going to move around. I hope that makes sense. So there is a way to protect it if you like. Um, looking for other questions. Doo -doo. Did that cover it? Thanks, Karen. Forgot about sealing with the jelly and gel medium. Absolutely, why not, right? Hey, we have our tools, we have to use them. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with um, the peeps at Scrap Fest, and I think we're gonna have some fun with it. There's one other thing I think I might like to do and might like to show. Because we have the spray that had the little dots in it, I don't feel as needing to do this, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Sometimes what I do is I'll take my mini mister, open it up and just do a little splatter like this. So don't forget to take things apart and use them, okay? Fabulous. Uh, Karma, I will repeat that um, one more time. You're absolutely right. The stamp maker is Stampendous. Okay, this is what the stamp set looks like. I do sell it in my online store. I will have this at Scrap Fest. Um, it's $14.99 here in Canada. It comes with the three stamps and that stencil that I use to mist. It's pretty fun. Um, uh, gelato's permanent when stri per yes and no. Uh, gelatos, she's saying, I'm thinking gelatos were permanent once they were dry anyway, so did I remember that wrong? As I said, if you took a water brush to it, they will move. Okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful set. I love it. I thought this was screaming fall to me, and I love, like, the, the doodles, the tangles in it, too. It's very cool. Mm-hmm. There you go. Fabu. So I'm going to pop dot that baby up and get it all ready, and we will ship it to Scrap Fest. Sounds good. You love the oak leaves. Yeah, I'm going to have to do one with different leaves. Maybe I will do, um, I'll do up some more samples later and maybe I'll send you guys one. So while you're on here, I am going to pick a number between 1 and 24. How's that? 1 and 24. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to say, when I say go, I am going to ask you to pick a number. You can only pick one. And the first person to say that number is who's going to get it. Okay, if that makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense. All right, and I will make something similar. I will send this off to you, okay, and with the stamp set. It's because I will make some more of these uh, samples for that event. Sheesh, Eileen, I care. <laughs> Eileen, you're late and I'm finishing early tonight. Go figure. All right, so I'm going to say go. 1 to 24. <laughs> I'm just glad you came. It's all good. Phoebe, music, sunset, Carrie, Barb. Woohoo! I have my number. I don't want to tell you, but I do have my number. I didn't even see Nancy there. Hey, Artie Dar. Are you ready? Everybody in? Okie dokie, stop. All right, so the number I had written down. <laughs> Karen said we have to say our number. Whatever. I can I can hear you when you type it. How's that, Eileen? Silly bugger. 21, baby. 
And I think I saw one. Hey, Nancy Thomas. Nancy. N hello, hello. I don't even have to mail that baby. <laughs> Yay. Come on in. Pick it up tomorrow. I mean, Saturday. <laughs> She's a local girl. Yay, Nancer. <laughs> Look at all the, your husband picked it, your husband rocks. <laughs> yeah, made it easy. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> awesome. So I will have a card here ready for you on Saturday when you come in, say hi, okay? <laughs> and Phoebe, I have yours still too, kiddo. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to thank everybody for watching this recording and I will be back again next Thursday evening and we'll do a little something else, but I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, it was quick, fun, easy. And if, again, if you are in Scrap Fest at Richmond Hill area on the 27th, I think is the Saturday of September. Love to see you there. Their website is scrapfest.ca and, um, and I'll be there with the Canadian scrapbooker. So you'll see some more about that too. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I'm going to stop the recording. Have a fantastic week, everyone. <laughs>